everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am doing just single room builds for the specific reason that I could not get inspired no matter what I tried. And as I've mentioned before, when I lack inspiration, sometimes it's just easier for me to do some room builds. So that is exactly what I did. I did three different very colorful rooms and you will see that as we continue. Um, one is blue and orange. The next one is pink and white. And the one after that is green and yellow, which is a color combination that I am not sure about. It's definitely different and a little bit eclectic and yeah, it's interesting. So the first room I think is more for a younger child, at least it's kind of how I see it. The second two are maybe for more of a closer to a preteen, kind of in that um, awkward in-between stage. <laughs> but yeah, so I actually did have a lot of fun with this. I'm... I don't know, I've just I've just been really struggling to want to sit down and build an entire build, which I think the last few I've done have just been apartment renovations. And I mean, eventually I'll get back into my build. Like I'm doing the Barbie stuff and I really want to, I don't know, I need to finish that big Barbie mansion, but I have to be in the right mindset. And I think that this kind of helped me be in that mindset. Um, I don't know when that's going to be finished, and I'm really sorry that I don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> so you'll have to let me know which of these rooms is your favorite. I bet you can guess which one is my favorite. It's definitely the pink one. And, shocker, I did not use any purple in this build, so that is a new thing for me. <laughs> I always use purple. I did use a jungle adventure mirror, though, so are we shocked? Not really. <laughs> but... Yeah, so this was definitely a nice change of pace. I do enjoy doing the room builds, and not only because it kind of challenges me to use colors and things that I won't use, but also because it challenges me to use items and clutter and different um, color schemes and things that I don't typically use, but then I go and use things like the Jungle Adventure Mirror that I use all the time. So I, <laughs> I don't know, but it's fun because you can like um, break it down to just certain colors of items that you want, which I really like because it shows you all the swatches in the catalog of that specific color scheme and I feel like it helps me use things that I don't typically um, remember exist in the game which a lot of these swatches I never remember exist so yeah it's <laughs> it's very helpful and so yeah so um how have y'all been I am kind of my upload schedule was supposed to be Monday Wednesday Friday and it will be again but right now I'm kind of going more for the Tuesday Thursday thing while I get over this little inspirational slump I don't know what's wrong with me but I just I just am that way okay <laughs> but yeah I think the yellow and green room is definitely my least favorite just because those are not my favorite colors in real life but I wanted to do something different and it's definitely different it's not nearly as scary as the green room that I did for that haunted house though but yeah anyway I think we're kind of wrapping up here I am gonna go ahead and say goodbye if you enjoyed this video, let me know because I can always do more room builds. These are all kids' rooms. I could do regular bedrooms. I could do teen rooms. I could do kitchens. I could do living rooms. I could do whatever you want. Bathrooms? That could be fun. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And of course, thank you so, so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye!